Hello, we're going to start this networking topic by looking at the general pros and cons of networks and also some of their performance factors as well. So what is a network? A network is a group of devices that can communicate with each other. And we typically think of, say, a home network with our Wi-Fi. We've also got much smaller networks over a very small area, like between our phone and wireless headphones. And the Internet itself is an example of a network. So you could be asked to evaluate networks as a high level concept because you don't have to connect to a network. I mean, to be honest, in modern society, you sort of have to, but you could, in theory, go live in the woods and have no contact at all with any networks at all. Clearly, there are benefits both to connecting to a network. So the benefits are we can send messages really quickly, really cheaply compared to maybe old fashioned methods like only ever sending letters. We can also send whole files to people. And resources like hardware can be shared. Things like printers can be shared amongst multiple users by connecting to the printer via a network. However, once you connect to a network, immediately you are under risk of certain cyber attacks. We'll look at it in the next topic. But for example, data could be intercepted by an attacker. The data is being sent over wires or through the air that is available for an attacker to intercept and potentially use for malicious purposes. Buying the hardware, we'll look at some hardware devices in a future video. Buying the hardware can be expensive and there is a degree of expertise needed to maintain the network, especially the bigger ones in schools and offices, which are quite complicated. So here are some key points when we evaluate networks overall. However, all of us use networks. Therefore, this is a little bit of a pointless exercise. What is maybe more interesting is to evaluate network performance once it's up and running. So. What makes a network perform well? What makes it perform badly? And really performance, we're thinking about how quick the network feels. Now, there isn't just one measure for network performance. There are quite a few different performance measures. The most important one for you at GCSE is bandwidth. So the bandwidth of a network is the maximum amount of data that can be sent at one time. And normally this has got the unit bits per second, or when it's in advertising, normally we're talking about megabits per second. So millions of zeros and ones being sent per second. And if you look at different options for your home internet, typically the more you pay, the higher the bandwidth, because a higher bandwidth generally improves performance. It means that it will take less time to transfer a file. Right, if bandwidth is a maximum amount we can send at a time, the bigger this number is, the more can be sent, therefore it takes less time. That being said, there is a limit to this. I tend to think of bandwidth as being a bit like the diameter of a pipe. A higher bandwidth has a bigger diameter. It can send more water through it at a single time. However, there is an upper limit to the effectiveness of this, right? If not much data is being sent, then a high bandwidth is not necessary, right? If you are only ever going to send a trickle of water down a pipe, it doesn't matter what the size of it is because it doesn't make a difference to the speed. However, if you've got a lot of water to send, a lot of messages to send, the bandwidth or the size of a pipe makes a big difference. Now, another important performance factor is how many users you've got connected to the network. And typically, as more devices get added to it, performance will decrease. And there are multiple reasons why this is the case. The first one relates to the bandwidth. So bandwidth has to get shared between all the devices connected to the network. And what that means is each device can send less data per second. So it feels slower for those individual devices. Now I think of it as a bit like a cake or a pizza, which has to get shared out. The bandwidth is the entire cake. It's the maximum amount of data that can be sent across that network at one time. If you've only got one user connected to the network, they've got access to the entire bandwidth. They've got access to the entire cake. The more people you add into the mix, the more this has to get divided out amongst these different people. And each individual person gets a smaller slice of the cake or they get a smaller slice of the bandwidth. Now, it's not always an equal division amongst all the users, but on the whole, the more users there are, the less data you can send per second. Another reason why increasing the number of devices affects performance is if you've got more devices, more messages are being sent. And what this means is collisions are more likely to occur. Now, what is a collision? A collision is when two or more signals are sent when only one can be properly handled. Now, the word collision in real life, we often associate that with like a car crash. Two cars could crash into each other. 
clearly that's a problem. Similar idea in a network. If I'm sending two messages, perhaps in opposing directions along the same wire, they're going to, to some extent, crash into each other. And that often causes an error in one or both of those messages. Now, collisions can occur even if you've only got two users on a network. But the more users I add into the mix, the more likely it will be that collisions occur. Now, for some messages, an error might result in a glitch on the screen. A live stream, for example, often has frames drop out or some glitches on the screen because of potentially collisions happening. For some situations, though, we can't just accept a glitch. We have to resend the message. For example, if I'm sending an email, it's not acceptable that part of my email is missing. So instead, if we have a collision, it will have to resend the missing chunk, which delays the process. It slows things down. That's why you feel the impact with the performance. And that could be the cause of things like buffering. 